What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, talking today about Kotaku, their writers, and just the general nature of the internet. Because it seems like everybody online now is so obsessed with trying to be right that they end up being afraid of being wrong. To the point at which they see any criticism of their work as an attack. And I just feel like that's not a healthy way to have an outlook of anything in the world. Now what really inspired this rant is the fact that this morning, Kotaku.com's most famous writer, Jason Schreier blocked me on Twitter for sending him a joke. Now, this is something I thought was very, very harmless, but clearly he did not see it the same way. Now, normally, I'm actually pretty dang receptive to what Jason has to say. I think that he is a very talented journalist who's done some really amazing think pieces that have gone extremely viral. He has done a lot to try and make sure this industry is more seriously considered, but some of the things he said over the course of the last couple months are very, very strange to me. One of them being the fact that he has been much more dedicated to defending microtransactions and saying that bad businesses could possibly be good in the long run, and I am very, very against that. I don't like loot crates, I don't like selling extra content, and unless it's like a big cool expansion, a lot of DLC, in my opinion, can be quite toxic. Now, this stuff is a little bit out of place, and so because of it, I've been keeping an eye on Jason Schreier's Twitter a lot closer, just to see what the heck this guy is talking about. And last night, he said something that was pretty shocking to me. Now, I'm going to read this tweet to make sure I get it exactly right, but since he might see this video and see me as being mean, I'm going to go and put on my evil guy hat. Alright, Jason, so just in case you happen to see this video, I am now evil cast guy. All right, now I'm going to read his tweet word for word so you don't think that I'm trying to misconstrue him. Yesterday, Jason Schreier tweeted, Having to grind for hours before you can play every character in Smash Ultimate might be the worst decision Nintendo has made in the Switch era. The worst decision that Nintendo has made in the Switch era. Now, to me, that's a little bit of a shocking statement because as much as I love Nintendo, they have done some slip-ups. I mean, I'm not going to give them a pass and say that their online is perfect or that all their monetization models are the best. I still have problems with the fact that Nintendo doesn't do more sales or drop the prices of their games very much. But to say that unlocking characters is a negative, more hours of content, more fun, more mechanics that force you to play other players is a negative is a little bit of a shock. So obviously he ended up getting a bunch of, uh, well, some very strongly worded tweet responses. So this morning he sent out this. If you want to get hundreds and hundreds of abusive messages from gamers, one easy trick is to tweet a, a mild criticism of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, again, I would not consider saying something is the worst decision in years by Nintendo is not exactly what I would say is a mild criticism, but that follow-up tweet is just additionally hilarious. So I couldn't resist. I had to tweet something snarky. Now, I'm going to read it word for word because, honestly, I'm not sure. Maybe I was being rude. I tried to come off goofy, but let's see how it comes off. My tweet to him was, Yeah, I find that when I tweet really strangely bad things, I get harsh replies too. That's it. I didn't say he sucked. I didn't insult him. I didn't say that his face is weird. I literally just said, Hey man, that tweet was bad. Bad tweets get ripped apart. I don't think I was really out of line there, but it was enough to get me blocked. I'll never see another Jason Schreier tweet as long as I live, and I guess that's just kind of the nature of the internet. You know, that's kind of what's going on lately that I'm very much against, which is that I think that we need to get back to a space where people are okay with being wrong. This is something that I was very much raised with, which is my grandfather specifically taught me that as soon as you make a mistake, acknowledge it and move on. That's not a bad thing. You haven't lost the battle. It's simply a matter of realizing you slipped up and correcting yourself. And the reason I think that's so important is because 
so many people nowadays are now locked into this mindset that everything is this eternal scoreboard, and if you admit you're wrong, it means you lost. And it shouldn't be that way. Jason, if you see this video, I'm still not attacking you even as I make this video calling you out. I mean, quite frankly, you are an amazing investigator who gets scoops nobody else on the planet could possibly get. But when we do things like question your weird reasoning for defending really predatory business practices, or when you talk about how loot crates are surprisingly fun. That is a very baffling take, and I just think it's something that when we come at you for it, we're not saying you suck, we're saying, hey, what about this other viewpoint? Now, the reason I think that criticism is so important is because almost this entire channel has been built on criticism from my catchphrase, the things I say, the fact that these rant videos exist. Actually, the whole reason I started making these is because people said that I wasn't making enough videos and that my stuff was too scripted to do more unscripted talks. The fact that I wear this freaking hat and, and try and shoot things in such a casual manner is completely cr uh, because of criticism. If you watch my videos from three years ago, I would literally write every single teeny tiny word out on very exact scripts and be like, hello, I am Dreamcast Guy. This this is the video games, and I thought that that was the best way to do my content. But thankfully, because I got such floods of feedback from people who genuinely wanted me to improve and learn, I am where I am today. I feel like so many people now are afraid of being wrong, and I think that part of that is just because we're now in an age of eternal internet culture, where if you say something good or bad, it goes on the eternal record. Everybody sees it forever and ever and ever. I mean, there have certainly been times where I said something wrong in a video five years ago, somebody takes that clip out of context and says, Dreamcast guy doesn't know anything about Atari, because in his Atari 2600 video from 2012, he said that he really liked Pac-Man on the Atari and that's wrong. Okay, we all make mistakes, but instead of trying to just hold on to them for all of eternity, I think we need to try and maybe restructure the way we have debates, the way we have thoughts, the way we have arguments, to just kind of be, hey, this is where I'm at right now. Jason Schreier is somebody who very obviously is in the process of evolving. I mean, he went from somebody that, in my opinion, was very, very pro-consumer to sort of shifting to a more pro-business stance. I know he still tries to pretend to be the voice of the people, but Jason Schreier spends all of his time now seemingly talking to developers and partying with, partying with programmers and stuff like that, so it's hard to really see them as the little man because now he's sort of part of these companies. And I also feel like it's slightly flavoring his bias, the fact that I mean, Jason is probably not paid for a game in 10 years. He gets everything free, he probably gets microtransactions free, he probably gets everything free. And so, the way you see things ends up shifting purely by accident. Now, once again, this is an attack on the guy. I'm just trying to explain why somebody would be so freaking squishy. I mean, I can't really think of another way for it. It seems like anybody who tries to say anything to counter Jason Schreier's thoughts, he immediately blocks them or freaks out or says it's an attack. Now, I do want to point out, there are people who are legitimately attacking him and saying some really messed up garbage, and those people do suck. Jason, if you see this, absolutely nobody should be saying those really garbage messages to you or sending you mean emails. Those people suck. My point is that you a lot of times will block people for just really harmless tweets. I mean, what I said to you, in my opinion, was extremely mellow, and clearly it crossed the invisible line. So, I guess what I want to do is have a discussion. Schreier, if you're up for it, I would like to do a little 30-minute talk. I want to have you on. I've been doing a little series lately where I have different game developers and different people on to talk about projects or talk about the nature of the gaming industry. I would like to have you on to talk about your views on YouTube versus gaming websites, to talk about what you think of this internet age where everybody is constantly trying to call each other out and constantly have that next big breaking piece. I would like to talk to you about loot crates, about some of your tweets, and just kind of the nature of you versus us. Not in a warlike nature, but simply the nature of YouTube in general. Do me a favor if you could, give this video a like, 
send it to him if you can, and just hopefully I can get a response. Uh, because honestly, he is a cool dude, and and I feel like we can in this. I feel like the the confrontational age of the internet will come to a close, and I think people are gonna soften up again soon. But really, I'm curious what you all think of this. Are you somebody who thinks that Kotaku in general is just a little bit weird, or in general, do you think that this is all fine? I mean, maybe you think that call out culture and constantly trying to scream at each other over the internet about whether or not the Xbox One needs to be melted down and shot of the sun is a good thing. It's certainly entertaining. I'm not going to say that that's not happening. A lot of people just enjoy the spectacle of people clashing together, and I don't think that's necessarily wrong, even if I don't normally like to participate in it. But this has just been my thoughts, and uh, yeah, I'm going to go back to writing my video about the top 10 best games of the year. Thank you for watching. You guys rock. Do me a big favor and keep dreaming. This was a very different video, but I really appreciate you guys watching all of it. This, this has been fun. It was very therapeutic. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.